guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom, starting a new week of what I cooked for dinner. Tonight we are having some baked garlic parmesan chicken wings. I actually got these at Whole Foods and I thought I would bake them. We were actually going to grill them, but it's a really rainy uh, evening out, so I just put them on some parchment paper and baked them. They took about 40 minutes on 400, um, and they're perfectly crispy and really, really yummy looking. Um, I also made some pierogies. These are fresh pierogies, not frozen, that I got at Whole Foods as well. And then I made some side salads with some arugula and garden tomatoes and cucumbers from my mom's garden, as well as green peppers from her garden, some alfalfa sprouts, some shredded cheddar cheese, and croutons and tonight we're actually having the Ken's uh, garlic parmesan dressing I'm just in the mood for like a creamy dressing tonight uh, so this is dinner tonight if you're new here I have an entire what's for dinner playlist from over the years feel free to check that out I'll link it in the end card of the video as well as down below and we will see you tomorrow hey guys for dinner tonight I'm doing a super easy dinner uh, we're doing some Purdue chicken patties these are the um, all-natural Purdue fresh chicken patties so they're not frozen I just baked them off. Um, we'll probably put some kind of condiment on it. I just haven't gotten that far yet. Um, I did some roasted butternut squash from Whole Foods. Um, and I have extra. I'm going to make a nice butternut squash salad tomorrow and put this on top of some lettuce with a bunch of different items. But um, So I have some roasted butternut squash, salt, pepper, a little butter, and cinnamon, and some good old Kraft mac and cheese classic. So here's my husband's plate. And Grady's having the same thing except no butternut squash because he won't eat it. I also made an extra chicken patty to cut up too to use on a salad for myself or Matt tomorrow. And this is our dinner tonight. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, for, so for dinner tonight I'm making lasagna. I've got my 9 by 13 pan. I've got my lasagna noodles that just came off the water. Um, I make mine as you know what you guys know we all make our lasagna different and our recipes different so normally I use my own sauce but I actually forgot to thaw this out so it's just a frozen block so luckily I had some store-bought um, but normally I would do this with my own sauce um, but since I can't I'm just going to use this store-bought Bertoli this is the olive oil basil and garlic I use pepperoni in my lasagna it's just something my grandmother did and my mother did I use Parmesan, ricotta, and mozzarella. I actually don't like ricotta cheese, so I only put the ricotta in about three quarters of the lasagna. And then I have my ground beef. This is just some farm-raised organic, organic ground beef, uh, very low in fat, um, that I already have cooked off. So I'm going to go ahead now and assemble it, and I thought I would just show you guys how I do that. Right, guys so it's all ready to go in the oven later you can clearly see especially from this angle that the side with the ricotta is taller and then it kind of slopes down like right here because again there's no ricotta so there's not that extra layer and I've done it like this for years it comes out fine um, and this just is more it's just easier for me because I don't I don't have to make a separate 
uh, tray of lasagna without ricotta so everybody kind of wins because from this on I'll have my section and then there's plenty um, and a more heartier section for my husband um, to have his and there'll be plenty of leftovers but yeah, of course, I'll show you what it looks like later when it comes out of the oven. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, as you know, we're having the lasagna with some salad. I just made a salad with romaine, arugula, and a bunch of different random veggies. Um, we're all having the same thing, and we're going to have the garlic parmesan uh, dressing tonight, and we have plenty of leftovers of whatever doesn't get eaten tonight. But this is dinner tonight, and we'll see you tomorrow. So for dinner tonight, we ate at my parents' house. My mom made a salad that was mainly veggies she grew in her garden. She also made some delicious stuffed peppers. She actually grew the peppers in her garden and stuffed them with ground turkey and quinoa and cheese and homemade sauce. It was absolutely delicious. Hey guys, for dinner tonight, I made some roasted sausage. I got these at the fresh market and had them frozen and they're just pork uh, sweet Italian sausages. So we each have two. They are pretty large. I don't know if I'll be able to eat both, but if not, I will save the extra sausage and use it for a new batch of like egg muffins or some kind of egg scramble. My husband will have no problem eating two. I did roast up a bunch of veggies. I did some carrots and green pepper from my mom's garden, some onion and zucchini from her garden, and I roasted it right with the sausage. I also boiled up some little tricolored potatoes from Trader Joe's, and then I let them, I brought them to a boil till they were fork tender, drained the water, and just let them steam in a little bit of butter, garlic, parsley, salt, and pepper. Really easy dinner tonight, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so tonight I'm making tacos. I'm actually going to use these corn tortillas, which I'm not too familiar with because I usually use flour, but I am going to try and fry these in a little bit of canola oil to get them a little bit crispy, but still pliable, if that makes sense. Um, so I've got three um, for me and three for Matt. Uh, it's actually been kind of a busy day and busy evening, so all we're going to have tonight are the tacos, but I did do a bunch of toppings to make them more hearty, so I've got some black bean and corn salsa, some fresh cut up tomato, some avocado, some cilantro, some cheddar cheese, and some olives. And then I have my uh, pan heating up with oil. I have my taco meat. This is just some farm raised uh, ground beef that I drained the fat and added some water and the taco seasoning um, and whatever's left if there's any extra meat. I'll make a taco salad for my husband tomorrow. P.S. guys, I'm actually going to do this, a similar recipe next week uh, with some shrimp. So I'm going to use corn tortillas with shrimp and I am going to do some of this stuff but I want to make like a homemade chimichurri sauce um, in my magic bullet. So um, you won't see that in this video, uh, but you'll see in the next dinner video, but just a heads up if you're interested in that shrimp taco um, with chimichurri sauce, that'll be in the next what's for dinner video. guys so here is how they came out I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of sour cream to my husband's plate because I don't like sour cream and he does so we each have three I did try to put a good amount in since this is all we're having normally I would make like a rice or some kind of veggie or something on the side but again it was just a really crazy day Grady had therapy after school so this is all we're gonna have tonight to eat I hope you guys enjoyed this week's what I cooked for dinner video. Once again, as a reminder, I have an entire playlist of these that I'll put up right here in the left-hand corner. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.